destroy it. So let's uh, head into my little farm base here. Nothing much, but I've got a lot of things planted. Uh, the great thing about cooking is you can find a lot of the ingredients when you're out and about. Uh, harvesting pumpkins, wild or grown, is going to give you different things, and I will show you here in a few exactly what they are and how you can figure it out as well. So these are some of the crops that you want to plant. Uh, potatoes uh, are big ones also. And let's go upstairs to the barbecue so I can show you how to cook. I'm going to show you all sorts of things real quick. So you can find your recipe menu right here in the barbecue. You can click on that. It's going to open up a menu and you're going to have recipes, ingredients, favorites, settings. So let's go to ingredients first. These are going to be all of your ingredients and where you can find them. So flour, you get that from harvesting potatoes and corn. Sugar, you get that from harvesting potatoes. Milk, from skinning animals. Uh, the things that say crafted, like bread here, that means you can make it. So that's going to be an ingredient that you can make. Uh, you can go through the list, you can find all the different ingredients and exactly where to get them. Recipes. Any recipe that you have found and learned will be stored here. Uh, right here, uh, earlier I was talking about bread. Cheese is another ingredient you can make. If you click on it, it tells you it's an ingredient. You can go ahead and craft one. And it's going to craft and it's going to go into your inventory. So let's go ahead and back out. And now I got cheese in my inventory. Now, those recipes require recipe cards in order to learn. So, I found a card for Night Vision Cake. Uh, we are probably going to be changing the name of Night Vision Cake to Day Cake. I will show you here in a few exactly why this is amazing. Right now, this is what it looks like. But, let's go ahead and learn this recipe. In order to learn this recipe, you're going to unwrap it. And if you look down here to the left-hand side of your screen in this area, it says you learned a new recipe, night vision cake. Alright, so let's open up this thing. Let's go to the recipe menu. We're going to go to our recipes and we're going to search for night vision cake. Right there it is. We're going to click on that. And if you want to star this and make this a favorite recipe so you don't have to scroll through the list every time, you can click on the star. From then on out, it is going to be stored right here in your favorite section. Let's go back to recipes. Let's see if we can find some other recipes that we think are going to be favorites of ours. So, uh, let me see. What would be a good one? Harvest. What's this one? Harvest increases the amount of resources collected by 50% when harvesting wild entities. That ain't bad. Don't know if I want to have that as one of my great ones, but that ain't bad. Cannelloni. This one right here. Provides you with a 100% chance to receive a refined resources instead of ores when mining sulfur and metal nodes. Yeah, I definitely want that one. I'm going to make that one a favorite. So now, I've got two in my favorite section. Let's go on back to the recipes. Let's see what else we got. So, smell it on mine. We just got that. Research refund. Crafting refund. Crafting refund is a big one. Provides you with a 20% chance to refund components when crafting an item. If you're going to be crafting a whole lot of stuff around the base, you might want to make one of these. Alright, let's see. What else we got? Uh, mining hotspot. Max health. This one is a huge one. This one is a definite huge one. Increases your maximum health by 150%. I am definitely going to craft that. Alright, so now we've got three or so of our favorite, favorite, favorite recipes in here. And it looks like we have all the ingredients for each. So we are going to go ahead and make them. Now, let me show you where your ingredients are stored. Okay, they can be either right here in your regular inventory, or if you look down here on the right where it says eye bag and you click on that, your ingredients can be stored in that bag. When you're cooking, it will pull out of this bag automatically. So you don't have to actually open this up and pull everything out. Once again, it's down here where it says I bag. All right, so let's go to the recipe menu. As of right now, we've got two night vision. Uh, we've got one night vision cake, 
one note you Neapolitan. That's what I've already got. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my regular backpack. That way it's out of the way. My inventory is empty now. Let's go ahead and make some recipes. So we're gonna go to our favorite section. We're gonna craft a night vision cake. We're gonna go back. We're gonna craft a cannelloni. We're gonna go back. And we're gonna craft a Noki, Noki Neapolitan. All right. And up here at the top, it tells you everything you got. And if you're missing an ingredient, it will tell you what you're missing up there as well. It tells you the duration and everything else. Now, I highly, highly, highly recommend using the cooking tab in Skill Tree. This is not going to be a Skill Tree like uh, overview, but we're going to show you the cooking tab in Skill Tree. What I personally use. So, Tea Party, I always use that one. That one doesn't help too much for this one so far. But if you get down here to Frugal Rationer, this is a huge one for meals. This skill provides you with a 10% chance per level to receive your consumed items back. So if you max that skill all the way out, that's a 50% chance that you're going to get your meal back. So instead of using it, you're going to get all the perks and you're going to get to keep it. That's pretty big. Keen Eye. This skill increases the chance of finding ingredients by 30% per level. A max of 5 levels. So 5 times 30 is 150. That's 150% chance extra to find more ingredients. Slow Metabolism. This is another huge one. This skill increases the duration of cooking buffs by 30% per level. That means freaking when you come in here and you check this out. Oh, did it stack? Oh, those already stacked. I forgot I had gather existing on, so they stacked there. If you come in here and you look at your favorites, you can see here duration is 180 seconds. Cook time is 15 seconds for the night vision cake. If you have nothing else on, that is what that is going to be is 180 seconds. Okay. Uh, but since I have the cooking it is going to be five times that so basically I always recommend the cooking skill tree the burst of energy is another one to use this you sla write slash tea time and that's going to you know give you all of the max tea buffs like I said, the cooking skill tree is a great one to go into. Now let's show you exactly what happens when you eat a meal. So it's daytime right now, so I don't really want to use a night vision cake. But let's say I want to go fight some NPCs. Let's go ahead and eat a Noki Neapolitan. If you look right now, my health is 100. But the second I eat it, that health now goes up to 250. And... Through my perk, I was able to get the perks and not burn a meal. So I still have two more Noki Neapolitans. That is huge. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put my meals in this little box. I'm also going to eat a cannelloni. And, uh, well, you know what? I think I'll hold off on a cannelloni just a second. Let's go out here and mine a an ore. Let's see what you get when you mine an ore normally and then we will go from there okay there we go that didn't smell that didn't smell that didn't smell that didn't smell so let's go ahead and move these all over here we're gonna turn the gather off let's find some more and now as soon as we find some more we'll run it for a few and see how it works let's go ahead and eat this now once again down here to the left hand side provides you with a hundred percent chance to ref find refined ores instead of so there we go why is gather off okay
And if you look, there's a timer up in the right hand section of the screen right here. Tells you how long this is gonna last. So you see, everything is just getting smelted here. Nothing is going anywhere else. It's all just getting smelted. I mean, this is going to save you so much time when building a base. You know, upkeep, you don't have to smelt anything. I mean, this is... Alright, this is not part of the plug-in, but right here, diamond... That is because, and if, if you're wondering why the rates aren't what you would expect, it's because I also have the mining skill tree completely maxed out. So I'm getting extra perks over there as well. Let's see. Do a couple more just to make sure. Where you can sell ingredients. You can also buy ingredients if they have any available. Now don't take too much note of these prices. They are subject to change. Need to work on a bunch of these, but they'll be changing a little bit. But this will be at the town. So in future wipes, if you would write slash town, it will take you to a town where you can buy, sell, trade, everything else. There will be a hotel. It will be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and remove him for now because we are not ready for that. And I will be back with you guys as soon as it is, as it is nighttime and I will show you how the night vision cake works. But now that it is getting dark... I want to keep going. I'm going to go ahead and eat a night vision cake. And look at that. It is now daylight. Uh, I wish I could show you Jeffrey's screen at the same time. And put them side by side. But I'm not that good at editing. But for me, it is now daylight daylight. And Jeffrey is now turning on his flashlight to see. <laughs> And I can just all day long, like, there we go, we'll go ahead and help him up, I don't really want to hurt Jeffrey, Jeffrey's my buddy, but, oops, wrong person, there we go, let's go ahead and, there we go. Well, once again, thank you guys for checking out freaking the video. Sorry I'm not a very good YouTuber. But I hope you like cooking. I hope you see how easy and how simple cooking really is. And I hope you take time to participate in it. Because Jeffrey over here, as of today, had never really cooked anything before. And I showed him how easy it was. And he was able to cook the original... Noche Neapolitan and night vision cake you saw in my inventory without farming at all. Just what he found along the roads and by killing some animals. So it is possible to make things without farming at all, but it's a lot better if you uh, create just a little small farm. Thank you guys and have a great night.